Ah. Commander, Cecilia! Unisatova. Welcome back. Where have you been, Unisha? Yeah, where have you been? As I recall, you were ordered to come back here immediately. Uh, well, I... Father Superior told me of your request. I understand you've been doing some advanced scouting of the tower. I, I have, yeah. Still not even halfway up, though. Given the scope of the location, I'd hardly expect you to be. In fact, that's the biggest obstacle we face here, I believe. We'd all like to begin searching in earnest, but without a solid strategy, we may as well be walking in circles. Actually, on the subject of searching, we seem to be missing someone else. One of our sorcerers is still unaccounted for. Oh, Dino. Should we form a small team to look for him as well? Hmm, perhaps. We can't simply abandon one of our own. There's no need to worry about him. Good of you to join us. Oh, you're... Allow me to introduce myself. And who she is is another shapely lady in just a ridiculous outfit. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, I can accept it for the, uh, you know, tribal warrior person on the surface. But, like, shouldn't... I mean, shouldn't a sorcery wearing some kind of armor? I mean... Whatever. My name is... K is... Kadena? Yeah, Kadena. My name is Kadena. I'm a sorceress of East. I look forward to working with you all on this mission. I... I'm Muska. I'm a sorceress, too. Pleased to meet you. You too. My name's Yunisha Tova. I'm an apprentice knight. Nice to make your acquaintance. So you believe your missing sorcerer is not in any danger, then? It's Hugo Fact, the successor to the Fact name. Frankly, I'd be more surprised if he did show up here. Ah, the younger brother of our fallen comrade. And the other player character. He's got an iron will. If he's not already in the tower, I'm sure he'll make his way here sooner or later and be no worse for the wear. He understands the severity of the situation. He'd want us to start the search and rescue as soon as possible with or without him. Understood. On your advice, then, that's exactly what we'll do. Come, there's much to discuss. We must pool our knowledge if we're to successfully locate our goddesses. I didn't think it possible for the situation to become more urgent than it already was. So the demons are under the control of humans? But why? Who are they? The only ones who have encountered them directly thus far are Unisha and Rico. Can the two of you provide any additional information as to their identities? W well Unisha detailed her encounter with Epona. They're from outside of Ys. Uh, are you certain that's what she said? That's unbelievable. I'd heard there was a whole world beyond our borders, but I never imagined I'd meet anyone who came from there. Do you know how many of them there are? I've only personally encountered those two warriors. I can't speak for any of the others. Oh, he's Rico. I thought he was Dino. I'm sorry. Same here, but I think there has to be at least one more. I ran into a pretty sophisticated magic trap during my recon. Two physical fighters alone couldn't have set that. So there's likely a sorcerer acting behind the scenes. And if they're from the outside of East, the magic they've got doesn't come from the goddesses. We have no idea what to expect. Uh, as if we didn't have enough to worry about already. Our course seems clear. We must find our ladies Rhea and Fina and offer them protection, not just from the demons, but from this new threat as well. Understood. We holy knights would request the honor of serving as advance guard in this search. Granted. And I would ask the sorcerers to scout for any further snares, 
since at least one has been confirmed herein. Just remember, the enemy most likely has a sorcerer of considerable skill in his employ. It's imperative that you all exercise the utmost caution. We will. I, I'll do my best. Personally, I'm just so glad I can walk again, I'll go pretty much anywhere. Unfortunately, Rico, I'm afraid I must ask that you remain here at base. What? You are well versed in the mystic knowledge of your house, are you not? Specifically, the spells of tempering. I suspect many powerful foes lie in wait for us within these walls. As such, I'd like you to remain on hand and use your magic to strengthen the search party's weapons as needed. Ah, okay. No problem at all, then. I'm glad I can be of service. I must say, Unisha, I'm kinda stunned that you were able to make it so far up the tower. You must have fought a pretty wide variety of demons to get there. Y yeah, yeah, I, I guess. Our little Unisha has grown up so fast. I don't know about that. He still seem like the actions of an amateur to me. Don't get me wrong, the information you've gathered has been a big help. But we have no idea what we're up against in here. You need to be more cognizant of your own limitations, Unisha. You can't just rush in headlong like that. Sorry. That's our Cecilia, ever quick to deliver the 40 lashes. Don't mock me. Cecilia is right, Unisha. I know how much you care for the goddesses, but you must not let these feelings cloud your judgment. Y yes sir, I understand. Excellent. With that settled then, I believe it is time for the Holy Knights to commence this search and rescue. Fortunately for us, the demons on these lower levels are weak enough that they can be dealt with one-on-one. -on -one. As such, our first task will be to split up and gather our bearings. Should a situation arise where backup is required, make certain to contact the rest of us immediately. Do not attempt it alone. With that said, may the fortunes of war smile upon you all. Man, I wish that in real life, war were as clean cut as one side as demons. Who knows? Maybe since the demons are under the control of humans, what we'll learn is that all along, the real demon was man. Anyway, hey. Hey, Rico. Hey, Unisha. Uh, did you need me to strengthen your weapon? That'd be great. That sounded kind of... That's what she said. Alright, let's see what we've got. Actually, maybe I should start by explaining how all this works. See, I'm going to speak an invocation passed down from Gemma to Gemma. It has the ability to strengthen and fortify items. Um, Rico, you absolutely have to tell me all this. Magic talk always gives me a headache. Ah, uh, oh sorry. I guess magic's one of those show-don't-tell things when you get right down to it. Rico took a piece of Claria ore from his pack. Claria, bearer of Pyrrhus, rate. Oh. Unisha's axe has been strengthened. There you go, one fortified weapon. Wow, that was fast. Seems awfully similar to what that Rue did, though. Thanks, Rico. Could I bring it by again later for another dose, or is that not how this thing works? I'm afraid not. I need a new piece of Claria ore each time the spell's cast, and that just so happened to be the last piece I had on me. Aw, oh, that's a shame. See if I can track down any more for you, though. Sounds like a plan. If you do manage to get your hands on some, you know where to find me. I feel like I just wasted our last piece of that ore. Fortunately, I'm going to find lots of ruse and they'll give me plenty of it, I'm sure. Or something like that. I, you know, I don't know. You can see where's our stuff. Is our stuff? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go back up. Let's go back, back up to Flooded Prison Part 2. It's a two-part episode. Well... Actually, I should probably go back to part one. 
Yeah, shouldn't I go back to part one actually? Oh, man, we have 2,000 uh, spiritual points? You know, all sorts of neat stuff. Reduce damage from terrain. Redu uh, which one of these? I'll strengthen our current armor. Yeah. Wonder uh, what it's at now. Oh! Wait, it's at 86? I think it's at 86. That's good. Sounds better. Oh, wait. Oh, we, we need tele. We need. Wait, we don't need to use statues to teleport. I keep forgetting that. It's the crystal. This crystal is a literal lifesaver. Now I know why you can't access the pause screen in boss battles, because you just teleport out of them. Wait, no, I need to go the other way. Listen to that music. It's pretty good music. I mean, it's not like great music, but it's pretty good, and it definitely gets the job done. You know, they're supposed to be so fast, but they ain't fast enough to beat me. Or outrun me, apparently. Maybe I should have killed them. I could have gotten some more SP. You see, that's the- it's that kind of abuse that, like, lead to, like, you know, leads to things in wars like soldiers killing innocent people because they get more, like, more kill points. You know, like, like, I read a book about this, the great Central Asian conqueror Timur. I'm convinced he's one of the most evil people who ever lived. Like, I understand, you know, that he comes from a different culture and, and all that kind of stuff, and, and I understand that there's more to him than just destroying, and that his, uh, you know, successors had a great cultural legacy beyond destruction. And, you know, they, they wrote books, and, uh, and uh, one of them was a famous astronomer and stuff. I understand that. That doesn't justify some of the horrible, unbelievably just horrible atrocities he committed. I mean, I still, what really sticks out is the whole trampling, all those, you know, begging mothers and children to death outside of, um, uh, Isfahan. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Of course, what I just said would probably make this video be banned in Uzbekistan. But what can I say? I, I understand that Tamer did good things. The government just there just doesn't acknowledge that he was also a horrible monster. Take this, take this little... Wait, who am I to complain about being a horrible monster, though, when I'm playing as Unisha here, running around slaughtering demons? But at least they're demons! But if they were turned into demons, maybe there's some way they can be saved, but probably not. It's probably an irreversible thing, which is just horrible. It's so horrible. But it makes a smashing good game, though. Well, let's, uh, jump. Let's get going here. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's not even deal with him. Let's just keep going. We're gonna deal with enough of him over here. I don't need to deal with that one, too. Let the wind power recharge. This is what windmills are for, right? This is the kind of wind power they give you, right? I think so. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I took care of that very efficiently. Oh, there's a there's loot up there. Get the loot! Get the loot! Oh, doesn't that increase my wind attack? I think it does. Yep, Whirlwind is what it's called. I should- I should remember that it's called Whirlwind. Why don't I? I defeated it while it was transforming! This is cruel. This should- that's just mean. I'm just- this is cruel. No, 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 no! It's gonna be jumping up here any second now, ain't it? Three at once is, no, is a big no, 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 no. But, I'll take care of it. They're no match for me! See what I tell ya. You know, they look like they're made of stone or something, but they have red blood like the rest of us. 
do 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 Oh darn it, another one! I think I'd re like remember where they were or something, but I don't. I've learned to take them down so quickly. Probably in part because of my upgraded axe. And we're really kicking some axe. Oh. That was very funny. Now let's uh, equip that thing we got. Where is it? Where is it? Is it just permanently equipped? I guess so. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I guess it's just permanently equipped then. No, it's not! Run! Get out of there! Okay. How the heck... Oh, that's how we use it. Okay. Let's go. In a minute. In a minute we'll go. Splish splish, I'm a fish. So it's still a, like a limited amount of time, but it's just a longer limit. This place is really scary, and I hope there isn't a monster here. Probably is a monster here. Is it even decreasing the amount of oxygen? Is that even going down at all? I don't know. In any case, maybe we're gonna get outside of the tower soon. I'm glad there were no monsters in there. We did get outside of the tower. what I tell ya? Oh, and there's another angel or goddess statue, I mean, not angel. Why is it... Look at the- There we go. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Let's say a prayer to our goddesses. We did it. What's in here? Pop. What are those things? Not interested. I didn't even give it a chance to find out what it is. Is it a plant? I think it's a plant. They're not very strong plants. Not that most plants are, but... Oh, they're tektites! Yeah, they're tektites. They're water tektites. And they can only attack us... Can they get us underwater? I don't know. In any case, I'm sick of how much time this is taking! Why are they not going all off the edge of the platform? I don't get it. Want me? Come get me. Come get me! They don't want me. They don't, they don't like me. <laughs> I have no choice but to kill you. Thank you for making it easy for me. Because, you know, their 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 magic is like keeping me from getting on the other side of this gate. Like if they were friendly and I had to kill them, that'd just be sad. Yeah, let's, let's go. Oh, it does slightly go down while I'm underwater. Oh god. Demon turtles, is it? Is that what we're dealing with? The answer is yes, we're dealing with demon turtles and spikes underwater. They're water spikes. This is a huge room. And there's the exit of the room. We need to be able to take care of the turtles first, the demon turtles. So we're gonna go this way because we doesn't seem like we can do anything about them right now. Oh my god, how much longer is this gonna go on? Okay, okay, get, just get away from him. Okay, let, we gotta get out of here, I think. I don't know that I have the ability to do anything to these demon turtles. And we only have so much oxygen left. 
Even if we can hold our breath for a long time? A long time only goes so long. Even the longest time. And there was nothing in that pot. Or wait, there was! Okay. Come on! We gotta go this way, do we? Okay. We're almost above the surface now. You know, even if she can breathe, she's still so uncomfortable. She's just sopping wet. Ah, oh, well. Sometimes in life, we gotta get sopping wet. That's just how it is. Okay, maybe we, maybe this is the time we should use the Leela shell. Maybe they could actually tell us something helpful right now. Okay. Uh, where's the shell? Here it is. Unisha spoke into the Leela shell. Eolia's voice echoed back in response. Unisha, is everything all right? Unisha asked if Viola knew anything about the amulet with fish-like scales she'd acquired. Based on your description, it sounds like an amulet made from water dragon scales. Classically, we've used those to help people hold their breath for longer periods of time. Guess you could say it provides air in one's time of need. Which should be pretty handy in your search, I'd think. There's a limit to its magic, though, so be careful not to stay underwater for too long. Useless! That was useless! But it- well, I still appreciate it. She's so friendly. What is you got a silver bracelet? So we can run at high speeds only when that's equipped? Oh, we can run at any time, I guess. I just didn't know about it before, I guess? I don't know. Bye, Plant Man! Bye, Plant Man! Plant Man sounds like a superhero. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Also, I haven't used that panacea even once. I mean, I would have used it during boss battles if I had been able to, though. So that's not really testament to gameplay skill or anything. Damn it! Now the turtles smell blood. What do I have to do? I have to knock them into the spikes? Is that what I gotta do? No. Okay, it's not what I gotta do. Let's just get out of here then. This place is dead anyway, who cares? So as it turns out, what I need to do is something that might have occurred to me, honestly. Turns out, we can't hurt the turtles yet at all. And I just missed some sort of route that I was supposed to take in these other rooms here. Oh, the spikes get me every time! They just- those demons, they put them right there at the bottom of the stairs! Because they want to hurt me, those freaking jerks! Okay, just let me get the oxygen in the- get the- you got it! What is that thing that's giving us oxygen, though? Is it like a rock? That doesn't make any sense, but you know what, though? I doesn't need to, because you know why? Because it rocks! Oh! Oh! That was good. I don't regret that. I guess we need to go under the platform. There's there's more down here than just spikes, folks. But there are the electric turret. Oh god. What what the heck? Look at these currents. I mean, I've heard of current trends, but this is ridiculous. Oh. Look, I'm sorry. It's a very serious situation. We got to try and introduce humor to keep ourselves sane. Can I get up there to that platform where I saw an enemy I could hurt? No? Okay. I'm gonna die in a minute here. I need to get back up there and get- OH GOD! And uh, try and get to a uh... Oh god, not the turtles! Okay, okay, I see where the next oxygen pots are! Okay, we got the oxygen, and we got an enemy. 
Well, now we just need to get to the bottom of the room, I guess. Alright, well, I can do that. I can get to a bottom of a room. Go away! Go away! I hate those freaking things so much. No! No, 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 no! Get away! Get, get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Okay, I'm losing them. I'm kind of losing them somehow, even though they can swim and Eunice, uh, I mean, she can swim a little. But not, not as much. Okay. Get away, get away. Get under them so they begin going the other direction and don't get through the ground to get to you. It's working? Is it working? It's working for this one. Working for that one, at least. Why can't the current just once go in the direction? Oh! Oh! Wait, there's something over there. What's over there? I want to check out? I don't know, maybe. And this is a very big room. Treasure! Acquired Rota Fruit. Good. That'll be helpful later when we meet the next room. Okay, so let's go back up here then. I wouldn't exactly call that hidden. I feel like your first, you know, reaction would be get out of the current as soon as you can. More treasure! And more importantly, there's another oxygen pot over there. Another pot full of oxygen. Maybe I shouldn't waste it, though. What if I need to go back and they're still... Uh, they wouldn't do that to me. Well, too late now. I still don't think they do that to me. Hard leggings, eh? As long as this doesn't turn into water temple-esque puzzles. See. Leather boots with resin with resin greaves. Design they aid in swimming. Good. But it would explain why they're down here for some reason. Because the demons put them there? I don't know why would that be there? Why would the demons put ruse fruit or not whatever that fruit is called, why would they put that into that chest? Unless do they eat it too? Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know much about demons, honestly. Oh, come on! Oh, I see an artifact down there. That means there's going to be something I'm going to have to fight down here, doesn't it? Doesn't it? The Living Strike Warhammer. Quite a name. And it's gonna let me take care of the turtles. But first, before I do that though... I wanna get back to that goddess statue and get back full health. A surge of power burst forth from the artifact. Unisha was granted use of the Bolt Crash skill. Skill effect defaults to this key. Use the Bolt Crash skill, simply equip it and activate it in game with the skill key. Okay, charging after... Okay, at least one topaz. Press and hold the skill key for several seconds to charge and let go to, to release blasting. Weapon will get lightning powers and destroy everything in your path. Even walls, huh? Bolt crash skill is also impenetrable, meaning a well-timed blast can be used to block incoming enemy attacks. Okay. Wait, is it already equipped? Well, in any case, I'm not going to be using it underwater. Because I need to be able to breathe underwater, right? Yeah. Need to be able to breathe underwater. Well, let the kids, kids get the heck out of here. Wait, oxygen pot! Oxygen pot. No, no oxygen. It was just there to toy with me. That's just cruel. That's just cruel! Why would you do that? Everything is terrible. Well, not quite everything. I still have the wind power underwater. That's... something. Get the oxygen pots! Please, please be oxygen in this one. Yeah, dude! Let's just eat this rock we found in the pot and it'll give us oxygen somehow. I don't get it either. Oh wait, we're with the currents this time, so it shouldn't be as hard. To, uh, to deal oh no 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 no
here we keep going. We gotta keep get. We just need to get up here. Shut up, you freaking turtles. Oh wait, because they're electrical based, our electric attack is what we use against them. But not yet. First though, before I do that, I need to get out of this water hell and get back up to the surface where breathing is is um a little more doable. Also, I see a broken wall down there. I'm gonna check that out. I bet you it'll lead to the rue. Just, just, we're skipping on the surface like a frog or like a water walker or something. Like a water tech type. Okay, after everything I've been putting up with, you think you plant things are going to be any anything to worry about? Let me tell you, you're not. Maybe that was mean. That was after all their last moments. But they're demons, it's fine. It's fine. I'll save two files, because why not? Well, let's take check out this uh, new ability I have. Bolt Crash! The mystical power of thunder! Well, I get it's a hammer because of, like, Thor. Okay. Unleashes a powerful electric spike with extreme destructive capability. Let's see how extreme. That's pretty extreme. That is pretty extreme, I'll give you that. And it'll take care of them turtles, no sweat. I mean, they're not turtles, they're just turtle-like demons. I wouldn't want to kill turtles, that'd just be mean. Let's go take care of them. Let's go. I don't even feel like dealing with the plant, guys. See ya. See you, plant guys. Turtles! It's time for some revenge! Oh, and they drop oxygen too, eh? Good. Let's see what's, uh, what's in here. Yo, just a treasure chest, huh? I got the arthropod medallion. Oh, that's good. I like arthropods. Although I don't like giant demonic arthropods. Those are not the kind that I like. Oh, you're even standing still for me. How nice of you. Ah, oh, man. This, this hammer has made all the difference. Let's see. Where's the arthropod? Here. A medallion found in the flooded prison area. The engraving depicts a many-legged insect creature. Yeah. Looks like a giant centipede. The next boss is going to be a giant centipede. Okay. I'm cool with that. There's still more uh, magic, magic turtle demons blocking the... Uh, yeah, there are. But I took care of that one. That attack just cracks its shell right open. <laughs> Dude, evil laugh. Wait, hold on. Um, what, what are they called? Let's read it underwater. Oh, the nipper are the tektites, but the turtles are called men menoks. Yeah, they're turtle-like demons. They use vibrations, generate electric shocks, you're fending off intruders, and its shell is... I would argue that the electric thing is still a physical attack, but whatever. Bizarre four-legged creatures are the nippers, though. Just hop around at random through jet-like propulsion. Okay. Oh, and the uh, plant things are vilvins. Misshapen demon with whip-like tendrils that appear to be exposed internal organs?! They weren't plant things. They're just disgusting things. Okay. Let's go in here. Is this the boss room? Nope. It means there's gonna be at least one more uh, save point before the boss. Which means I'll keep going. That'll be my next uh, save point. Save point before the centipede monster. Before this game's equivalent to the giant centipede from Dark Souls. Think, was it in Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2? I don't know. One of them. 
And there's stairs up there. Is there anything else neat in here? I missed. No? Okay. Where's the ruse, though? I mean, the ruse. I don't know. Could be anywhere. Hey, buddy! Hey, hey! Hi! Bye, but also. They're not even any threat anymore! Oh! Dude! Gives you a nice sense of satisfying progression. We got another Panacea! I don't know if that's a good sign or not, but... We have one now! Right? Yeah! Oh, wait a minute! They don't, like, fill up our HP! They raise the maximum! Oh. I didn't understand. Wait, did it raise the maximum or did I just waste one? What? Wait, what?! Guess I was a little careless! <laughs> oh. This time, no screw-ups. I don't know what went wrong last time, but it's not gonna go wrong this time. Unless it does, then... I mean, then it will, and I'll be like, damn. I have two bars to keep track of this time. The oxygen bar and the health bar. It's a little complicated, you know? I mean, it's not really that complicated. It's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit complicated. It's... I don't appreciate that. I DON'T APPRECIATE THAT! What's in here? See, I'm at pretty much full health, and I got another Panacea, so I'll be at even fuller health. But I'll use it once I get to the goddess statue. I feel like it was very bad luck the last time I used one of those. I'm not even gonna deal with you. Oh my god, finally. Hey! You know what? I prefer the other, uh, I prefer the whirlwind to that one for, for, uh, land combat. Even against the disgusting organ having out demons. Where's a Roo up there? Okay, we're gonna get up there. Oh well, let's leave that one be. What do I care about the water tech type? If you're, gonna, if you're gonna attack me! Well, I mean, I attacked it first, to be fair. I'm the pr provocateur here. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! <sighs> Shit. Okay. I don't care about the spikes. We just gotta kill all these stupid water things. Okay, we, we got those. There's another one I know over there. Oh god, it's over here now! Bomb platform, you can't move fast enough! Okay. Get up here. What the hell are those? They're disgusting! And they're shooting out slime! Jeez, I think there's a little slimy deal right there. <laughs> Wait, what about the roo? I didn't get the Roo, guys. I'm not gonna leave until I feed that Roo. I got out. No, no, no! No, no, no. God, okay. Fucking. Okay, you know, forget it, forget it, forget it! Let's just keep going. Let's just go up here and maybe there'll be a goddess statue and we'll figure out how to get to the Roo from there. There wasn't a goddess statue at all. We're just getting into, like, the territory of the most abomination like, just horrific hideously terrible and horrifying monsters, aren't we? That's what this is. We're in the horror-themed level. And it's the water-themed level. Oh, horror and water. 
go great together, honestly, because there's a lot of scary stuff that lives in the water, and it's especially scary to humans since we're, like, not built to, to live in water. Oh, didn't mean to go in here, but then we're going to find the Rue now, aren't we? Hey, guy. The Rue appears to be hungry. I do believe you're a Rue I haven't met before, but you seem just as hungry. Oh man, they're all hungry. Hungry for knowledge and rotafruit. It loves us. It loves us. This will make our other attack stronger. Yep. Oh, for me? You really don't have to do that. I shall humbly accept your gift, though, because you're just so very cute and I can't say no to that face. I bet he appreciates it. Or she, I don't know. I don't know how to differentiate rude genders. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. It's just cruel, really. Man, she is taking down so many demons. They, one demon has no chance against one even slightly competent human warrior. Unless they're those giant demons, which I guess are the ones that are terrorizing uh, East the Solomon Shrine. It must be pretty bad to be up there, man. These camera angles are interesting. I bet you that we really are going around the tower if you would like to look at it from... Okay, I can deal with this. I've dealt with him before. I can deal with him again. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Just can't get hit again. There we go. And we got to the next goddess statue. Although for now it might be a demon statue. And we're going to put the arthropod medallion in this door over here, and then we're going to go fight a giant centipede demon. That's what we're going to do, isn't it? I think the answer is yes. Oh, goddesses. Help us. Although, we'll probably do fine. I mean, we're doing pretty good without you so far. Well, I mean, not really, because you've been helping us with these statues. We would have been completely screwed if it weren't for these statues. Let's do it. <laughs>